Good morning. This is Dr. Onije from Atlanta Perinatal Associates, and today I wanted to talk to you about uh, Down syndrome detection. As you are aware, uh, Down syndrome is a congenital disorder. It's something that babies are born with. Babies that have Down syndrome tend to have small size, abnormal appearance, and uh, birth defects. These babies, in many cases, will have moderate to severe mental retardation. Now, one of the benefits of prenatal diagnosis is that we now have the ability to detect babies with Down syndrome before they are born. Uh, formerly, babies with Down syndrome were discovered only at birth, and in many cases that could be a, a shocking or traumatic event. Now we have tests that are available to let a mother know whether she's having a baby with Down syndrome or to give her reassurance that the baby does not have Down syndrome before the baby's born. Now, there are a number of different tests we can utilize to identify whether a mother is at risk for Down syndrome. These include things such as the mother's age, uh, blood test, and ultrasound findings. All pregnant women have some risk of Down syndrome, and that risk gets higher as a patient gets older. Generally speaking, as a mother gets older, the risk of having a baby with Down syndrome gets higher. At the age of 35, uh, the risk of having a baby with Down syndrome is 1 out of 200. Now, we offer additional testing here at Atlanta Perinatal Associates that allows a mother to get a definite idea as to whether or not her baby has Down syndrome. One of the tests we utilize is something called an amniocentesis. Amniocentesis is a test where we insert a needle into the mother's abdomen to remove fluid from around the baby. Fluid that the baby floats in contains DNA in the form of chromosomes. And by analyzing this information under a microscope, we can get a definite yes or no answer as to whether or not someone is at risk for having a baby with Down syndrome. Amniocentesis is a fairly straightforward diagnostic test. It's done by inserting a needle into the mother's abdomen, takes about 30 seconds, and the results come back in anywhere from 3 to 14 days. If you are interested in having a test to determine whether your baby has Down syndrome or not before the baby is born, you should discuss with your doctor the possibility of doing an amniocentesis. However, there are also non-invasive tests that will give us a chance to get uh, to know if the baby has Down syndrome or not. These include things such as a level 2 ultrasound, a blood test called an alpha fetoprotein test, or a test called a nuchal translucency. Now these tests are different than the amniocentesis because they don't give a definite answer, but they tell if the mother is high risk or low risk for having conditions like Down syndrome and conditions including Down syndrome. You should know that the amniocentesis carries a small risk of complications. In one out of 200 mothers who have an amniocentesis, there could be fluid leakage, there could be vaginal bleeding, and in rare situations, there could be miscarriage. Amniocentesis, as well as ultrasound, provide the mother the ability to get a better idea as to the health status of the baby before the baby's born. In many cases, this information is very useful to allow mothers to make appropriate decisions as to how they wish to manage their pregnancy. Once again, this has been Dr. Chukumo Nije from Atlanta Perinatal Associates. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at Atlanta Perinatal Associates. Thank you.